Hey, what's up, guys? Ace Player here, and I figured that today we'd go over Jason Whittem, the creator of Stick Wars, response to uh, everything that's been going on so far. Now, we have already seen his actions, and they haven't been too great, and they have gotten worse since then, but we'll reserve that judgment for a later time, because unfortunately, it seems that Crazy Jason is pushing this narrative that I twist everything he says, and that I'm trolling and slandering. So in this video, I'm actually just going to say word for word every single one of his responses without any spin, so no more excuses. I will provide context for any egregious messages that omit all of it, but for the most part, I'm just going to leave you with his words, because I don't know how else you could twist a guy's words less than just by displaying them. Just so we set the stage, we have 43-year-old Jason Whitham, a family man with a wife and kids and a big company a lot of money versus 20 year old ace player who's a computer science major with an emphasis in game design in college i have also been working with the developers for over a third of my life now now that we know the stakes let's get into jason whitham's responses so after the juggernaut fiasco and after i call him out rightfully on my youtube and website he starts to become a little more active in the stick war discord as you can see he wasn't really around for about two weeks but it's time for him to engage with the community. Let's see what he does. When he comes back just to troll, he will keep being banned. If he acts normal, that's different. Takes me one second and him all day. Whatever I say gets spun the wrong way, so I try to say as little as possible. I have no problems with anyone having their own opinions. However, you have to realize that I get hundreds of emails and messages with thousands of opinions. I don't really like some things about Game of Thrones, but I respect that it's R.R. Martin's series. I don't think he has to explain his actions. There are about a thousand design decisions I make towards this game. Some people don't like some of them. That's going to happen. I like the design of the jug. Don't know what to tell you. I'm a terrible person. I would say that if you listen to five hours of Ace telling you how evil I am, then put a link to his website to vote. You may get results like that. I don't want to insult anyone. I see he's clearly trying to drag me into some kind of argument, but he never talks to me. He never listens to any of my input. Should maybe be thought about a few times. He then posts a leak to redirect some heat. My point of view is, Ace, I can't link to your stuff if there is swearing in your videos. Proceeds to swear, I unlink the videos, and I'm evil. The type of logic cannot be reasoned with, and I don't try to. When SO7, who was on the Sins of Stick War 3 podcast with me, asked, but what about me? I've been swearing in my videos. Crazy Jason responds, I haven't checked them all, but I don't blame you as much because you were manipulated for five hours. To which a moderator says, at the moment, it does not appear that way. I think at one point he said the $400 I sent you was a way to give Ace negative 400. This is just, um, nuts. I don't talk to Ace, and yet he's got a five hour long audio about our relationship. He seems to think he is God's gift to stick war. I don't agree. Again, getting dragged into the dirt is what he's trying to do, and I'm not going to do. Ace saw himself as part of the team. I did not. If he really cared about stick war and not himself, he wouldn't be trying to turn every mention of stick war into an Ace player chat. Just so we're clear, and I did say this to Ace as my last message to him. Hi Ace, sorry the way things turned out. I think after seeing the way things are handled on your end, I don't see that we'll be collaborating in the future. I know that whatever I say at this point will likely be flipped, so I'll keep it short. Just want to say however, despite you hating me, I don't hold grudges and think that whatever you do in the future, you'll be successful and wish you the best. The ironic part of this message is that if you really meant it, you would hire me anyway, because I would make Stick more successful. He doesn't actually mean what he's saying here, and it's quite a dry PR response, if I've ever seen one. Anyway, he's got some good talents, but I think he doesn't shine being vindictive and angry. And yeah, you're totally right. I do need to communicate with the mods more. I just find that me sticking to posting update is probably best. If I had a girlfriend that never talked to me for seven years, I would not think she was my girlfriend. So this is in reference to 14-year-old me working with the developers until the age of 20, uh, in which then Crazy Jason gave me the boot without a word. 
I don't know why you're talking to me like I'm a girlfriend when I was actually an underage kid that was impressed by you. But sure. He then proposes a cop-out play of putting in extra Juggernaut skins in the shop so people can pay for a fix if they so want. So that way, he can still get what he wants, ultimately. The people who don't like the Jug can always change the skins. Partial dead, full skin, etc. Skins will be added all the time. Actually, the guy who did the Discord logo, his next big project is skins for all the units. Should be some insane skins coming. I have no problem with Ace, or anyone. I don't hold a grudge. But if I see him come back and every topic is slander, and or links to slander, that person is gone. Pretty normal and obvious. Isn't this already obvious, someone said? I would have thought so. The new bombers are looking pretty cool. Dripping effects. Have you seen that yet? Let me see. One minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Topic. I am evil and only want to destroy stick war. Now, someone did bring up a good point, which was, while we can't respect that a series belongs to its author, the author should also be able to explain their actions if they wish to make their series coherent. To which Crazy J replies, So, in this case, the equivalent would be if George R.R. leaked something before his book was done, the game is in beta unfinished, I'd say wait until the book is finished before picking it apart. That's why they are leaks, not finalized works. The trail effects looks better and high quality, and the bomb has fire at the end. If you click low quality, it shuts off. We are putting effects like this into high quality settings. Going back to general, oops. Should have posted here, my bad. Giant upgrade. The giant upgrade allows its own queue. Enables health upgrades for giant and creates a separate build queue for training giants. High quality mode disable in settings to get rid of flash effect. If you want, like, perfect balance, I suggest Chess or StarCraft 2. But a game that's still in beta? Don't get too hung up on it. It takes time. Even Chess took a while before they put in the castle rule. I gotta go, people. See ya laters. When asked why Crazy J decides to randomly ban people without explanation, he responds with, Okay, well, do I have to explain every time? Just be normal. Hi, what just happened? And this is around where Crazy Jason decides to just start taking away moderator's permissions because they don't agree with his dictatorship-like rule. I'm moderating with Autobot and banning Ace Player. Mods are undoing this, so I have no other choice. Don't feel like doing something 14 times. Yes, Ace Player is promoting hate right now and every time he comes back. Ace Player's site is not a safe link for kids. When people complained about favorite trial mod Eclipser getting yeeted and skeeted by Crazy J, he says, Eclipser was undoing my moderation multiple times. I understand Ace thought something that was not true, and convinced many people of his delusions. But as of now, Ace is just linking to and promoting hate, and when he continues to do this, he will continue to be removed, along with anyone helping him do this. Which everyone responds, I don't think he's promoting hate. I wouldn't call what Ace is saying delusions. They have a lot of basis behind them. And then uh, he ignores all of it and says, I welcome criticism, just not swearing alongside it. Although many of the old schoolers are older now from SE, there are still many children on here. 13 is a child. You guys need to get over the jug, really. It's a preference. The fact that people thought Ace was banned for the jug is funny. Ace seems to think so. Ace player was not what he thought he was or convinced you guys that he was. And this is his entire problem. He had a player suggestion area he was supposed to stick to. However, is very egotistical and would begin posting in actual dev areas in areas where our full-time actual development team work. I don't talk to Ace. That's the point. He's a fan that does bug testing and gathering of images from other games. Ace has a relationship with me that I don't have with him. I'm removing all traces of someone trying to troll and make everything about them. It's nothing personal. I let him come back 15 times. But he kept on going on and on and on. Letting me back 15 times, by the way, means the moderators unbanned me 15 times and he rebanned me 15 times. I don't blame mods. They are doing what they think is right. Ace, after all, has convinced everyone of this. I don't even blame Ace. He clearly believes his own delusion. 
Now, when you got flamed pretty heavily for this, you responded to the one positive comment that showed up, which was that CJ is doing a great job. He said, thanks, trying my best. To which someone responded, no, you are not. <laughs> no shot, you are really not. You are goddamn not. I'm sorry, but no, you are not. What do you guys propose? I have a crazed fan that's only coming into the Discord to rally everyone against me. When told by a moderator that you don't know the basic rule of being a developer, which is listening to your goddamn community, Crazy Jason responded with, When you say this, what are you referring to? To which SO7 says, Literally, the entire jug design. But Crazy J says, But what if I like the design? Should I go against my own vision for my game? It's an example, though. Should I run polls on everything and just let it be designed by a committee? A camel is a horse designed by a committee. Heard this one? I love to listen to feedback and criticism, and then process that and make my own decision. But again, I'm making thousands of decisions, and there will definitely be some that don't please the majority. However, I think taking big risks as a design rule that make the majority against it will also make others not just like it, but love it. Source? Dude, just trust me. I know that if I love the design, that there will be likely others that love it too. I could play it safe and make the same thing that pleases the majority. Now a Discord member had this to say about Crazy J. You keep saying that you understand that people have opinions and you respect it, yet you keep going aggressive against the ideas of people disliking your designs and ideas. The majority of people dislike it. To which he says, that's not true only if they act in a trolling, hateful, cursing way. I actually thought Ace's meme video was hilarious. Too bad it was spiteful and full of cursing rather than funny. Which a moderator says, yeah, the uprising of literally everyone on this Discord server is here just trolling, right bud? To which Crazy Jason responds, no, just Ace player, that's all. I love the anger vids, SO7, they are great. I show them to lots of people. I think Jerry's talented as a commentator, and he gets so into it. I think it's great. Why do you think I sent him $400 for a phone so he could thrive with it? To which a moderator says, Because you wanted a replacement ace. Your old one was defective and too critical. Well, ace player thinks it's about him somehow. Delusional. Even though that was like, what, Jerry? Five years ago? Somehow he linked something together that is five years apart? When a member of the community said Ace and CJ need to reconcile, Crazy Jason says, How do you reconcile a relationship that does not exist? Well, I saw potential and I watched you a lot, which was helpful for bugs and such, but you had a slow device, so I thought it was a win-win. Ace was also great, but developed an ego and did not stay in his lane. Again, it's nothing against Ace. I just am not going to promote hate and swearing against me. Why would anyone link to a video that literally says, fuck Crazy J, and then be shocked at getting banned? I did explain to him. He jumped the gun and showed his true colors very quickly. Have you guys heard the song Stan by Eminem? Do you think that Eminem should have a relationship with his delusional fans? Or maybe just stick to writing songs? Are you calling us delusional, says SO7, to which Crazy Jason responds, nope. Just one of you, named Ace. Seven years of being a delusional fan. Not seven years of being on the dev team. A moderator was quick to ask, You called him a stick war expert when he agrees with you. All of a sudden, he's not? To which Crazy Jason says, Yes, he is a stick war expert. Look how much he's played. Many of us here are. Which just proves that he never knew what I was actually capable of, because he thought being a stick war expert just means he plays his own game. Ace needs to focus his creative energy onto something productive, not spiteful, IMO. Ace can come back and do what he wants, but just like anyone else. But not to just troll again. But of course, when Ace goes back to his old tricks, don't be surprised. Ace player did not help me. I don't talk to him. Do you get this? Ace was mistakenly to the Stick War 3 board, not by me, but was told to keep into player suggestions, because he is a player, not a dev. He did do some great jobs gathering video clips, but he developed an ego and thought he was more than he was. I believe that he mistook kindness. 
I don't know what's kind about paying me $35 an hour to do menial labor. It's called a job. He then finds the one person agreeing with him and says, very, very true. I said my bid to Ace in a PM and made it clear that I'm not talking to him. And I don't think it should have gone past that, but he kept on and on to the point where after 15 bans, I have to say something that unfortunately will make him look bad to many and likely insult him as well. But at the same time, he is kind of begging for it. To be fair, I don't think Ace lied as much as believed things that weren't true and expressed them. I told my brother that Santa was real and wasn't lying about that I thought it was true. CJ wanting a kid-friendly community then implying Santa isn't real. That's true, however the implications will be lost on those kids. Well, I'm heading off to supper. We'll try to pop on more often. Santa's real, just the guy I saw in my house that was filling his bag with presents maybe wasn't. Crazy Jade then responds to one public comment saying thank you for everything you've done. However, he cannot offer the same courtesy to me. Crazy Jason says he clearly appreciates SO7 videos and links them in the server and sent him 400 USD for nothing. Yet yeah, the yelling is the best part, not afraid to be passionate. I love it. Aside from the swearing that pops in, but he's usually pretty good about that. It's fun to watch someone playing the game that's so into it, I guess. What has been linked about Shade? Have we seen her pick yet? I can't remember off the top. I gotta end this with some kind of leak. So she's basically a ninja made from bones, winky face. Too soon. And then he sends this picture. Okay, I'll post something really cool then. One sec. What would you like to see most like? Campaign map type stuff? Characters previews? Well, MH, just finished this epic picture of Lavish. I'd love to post. KK, I'll post official. Lavish, God of Gold, Emperor of Kings, and Godfather of the Majestic. Here's 440 nerd emojis. Well, there are timelines throughout the campaign, and we will visit forward and backward in it. So this is clearly when he's a bit older. Okay, I'm off. Lavish has some pretty deep lore as important character to the story that will unfold. Okay, now I'm really off. Now, on the topic of the head moderator expressing his disapproval of Crazy J just banning people and doing whatever he likes without discussing with the moderator team, Crazy Jason had this to say. Linking to specific websites is going to get a ban. Should be obvious at this point, especially when your name has the word fuck in it. The people that are linking are aware. Just ace troll squad. Wait, is swearing against the rules, said one user? Depends on the context, said Crazy Jason, setting up the swear filter that does not check for context. Why'd you get rid of suggestions, feedback, and server news, said a disgruntled stick war user. What's the context of that? It was full of ace player nonsense. And bring it back after he comes back to reality. Right now, I don't have time to spend all day working against his full-time job of trolling stick war. By the way, the server news channel that he deleted that was full of ace player nonsense had like two messages from me, and uh, that was three years of server history that is now gone because uh, he felt like it, I guess. It is also ironic because he did spend all day working as a full-time dictator on the stick war discord. Now, after neutering most of the moderation team, Crazy Jason had this to say after he was getting backlash for his comments. If the moderation team was working well without it, I wouldn't have to ban people with fuck CJ and fuck stick war in their names or links to websites dedicated to that sort of behavior. Once again, framing my stick war fan site as some kind of troll operation, I think this guy just doesn't know what passion is. The actions I have taken are to remove this behavior. A user was quick to point out that it would have been gone if he did fix things in the correct way. But Crazy Jason said, if people want to make websites dedicated to being nasty hatred towards me or Stick War, that's fine. Just don't expect me to promote it. Alluding to my Stick War fan site that he definitely doesn't want you to go to at aceplayer.com. After 16 bans, I'm not wasting any more time on him. If I see anything linking to his site in a way that is part of the squad of anti-CJ people, it's gone. He then decides he's going to remove a favorite text channel of the Stickboard Discord because one person suggested it. Next, a Stickboard user wants to know if just the rest of the text channels are going to be deleted because Crazy Jason's just kind of destroying everything. So what she says, uh, no, guys. 
Maybe after A stops making everything all about him, we can go back to normal, but this seems to be the only way to deal with this, also be able to create stick war. Ah, okay, I'll fix that ping issue. And then his most recent message in the exchange, swearing is fine, it's the context that matters. Example, my dog is a bitch, fine. That bitch is a dog, bad. Well. I'm not going to put any spin on this guy's words. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of Crazy Jason's actions. Do you think Stick War 3 is even salvageable at this point? Or has it always been under weak leadership? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure my response will be coming up soon. And I have a lot to say. Till then, aceplayer.com, baby.